Hello friends, this video on coal and petroleum part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now when we talk about exhaustible resources, that is those resources which are in limited stock, it becomes very important to talk about sustainable management. In fact, management is important because we need to manage the resources in such a way so that they are made available to the future generations as well. So let us see what exactly sustainable management talks about. What is the meaning of sustainable? Sustaining, to sustain something, to keep, to retain something, to keep something for the coming generations. So management of natural resources in such a way that the basic need or dependency from these resources is met. It is not that we just want to preserve it for the future generation at the cost of the present generation. Obviously the basic necessities of the present generation should be met. So again let us take the example of the same box of chocolates. Now, let us say that the students who came early, they are all hungry. So you have half box of chocolates. Now, we do not want the entire half box to be kept only for those who are going to come late. So those who are coming early, they should also eat a few of them so that they are able to fulfill their hunger. But it shouldn't happen that they ate all of them and whoever came later, they did not get anything. Correct? So their basic needs of the present generation should be met. That is one thing. Next is future generation can also make use of them. That means only basic necessities of the present generation should be met. It shouldn't happen that the present generation is wasting the resources. The present generation is simply not taking care of the resources. That shouldn't happen. You use it for what, how much ever it is needed and rest of it, you just keep it for the future generations. Use of these resources do not cause too much harm to the environment. Now these resources should also be used in such a way that the environment is fine. For example, I, I told you right that fossil fuels they are excellent source of energy but at the same time burning fossil fuels releases a lot of harmful gases which cause environmental pollution which results in acid rain which causes greenhouse effect and all these things are not good for the environment. So we, we need to decide how exactly do we need to make use of different resources. So if we think that okay we can minimize burning of fossil fuels by some other way then we should follow that alternative. One example is if we make use of petrol as a motor fuel that is one option and we make use of CNG as petrol uh, as a motor fuel that is another option now in both the cases we are making use of natural resources but in the second case it is causing less environmental pollution so we should go with the second option so that's how we have to take a call looking at the pros and cons of each and every natural resource so we should always remember the three R's that is reduce, recycle and reuse. So in order to save the environment, these three R's are very useful. Reduce, reduce unnecessary usage of natural resources. Now any natural resource, it could be water, it could be your electricity. So if you are unnecessarily switching on uh, a light, or if you are unnecessarily switching on your fan, you are actually wasting electricity. And from where are you getting that electricity? The electricity is coming from some thermal plant maybe. And that thermal plant is making use of the fossil fuels. They are burning coal to generate the electricity. So you are basically wasting the use of that fossil fuel. So which could have been saved for your future generations. So that means we should reduce any sort of unnecessary usage of natural resources. Second is recycle. Recycle and use the natural resources in different forms. For example, waste segregation. Now, whatever waste products are present in your house, for example, the vegetable wastes, they should be segregated. They should be kept separate when compared to the sanitary waste. Again, when you have different types of like paper and everything, they can be recycled. So a paper, a newspaper which you read every morning. So once you have read the newspaper, you are not going to read it again some other day, right? So the same newspaper can be used to create some packets. They can be used to cover your books. So that means one particular object can be used or can be recycled to be used for some other purpose because in order to produce that paper a lot of resources were being used in the paper factories so we just do not want to get those resources wasted 
so that is why recycle also helps in order to uh, reduce the wastage of natural resources third is reuse this if you think that the same resource can be used over and again please go ahead with it for example you buy a bottle of jam so when the jam gets over so the bottle might be used for storing something else then please go ahead and do it instead of throwing the bottle because when you throw the bottle you you are actually i mean wasting it so try to reuse the resources which are capable of being reused now some of the examples which shows how energy can be judiciously used are prefer stairs over lift so when you are using lift you are actually consuming electricity and electricity again is generated is dependent on fossil fuels so prefer stairs prefer tube lights over bulbs because bulbs consume more electricity when compared to tube lights prefer cycling over bus because bus is running on some fuel either petrol or diesel or uh, cng so if you are cycling so that fuel is being saved prefer bus over car so when you are traveling by a car it is just one person traveling in a vehicle but the amount of petrol that is being used is again huge comparatively and but when you are traveling in a bus maybe some 50 people are traveling in the same vehicle so that means it is an effective use of the petrol or diesel now in case you are traveling by a car some certain things which you can remember just to ensure that you are not wasting a lot of petrol or diesel are engine to be switched off in traffic lights because in traffic lights all you need to do is just sit inside your car you don't want your car to move so when you don't want your car to move why do you unnecessarily want to keep this engine switched on because if your engine is on your fuel is actually getting consumed so try to switch it off correct tire pressure to be maintained because if the tire pressure is not correct again your vehicle is consuming or it is wasting fuel driving at a decent speed now driving vehicle at a very high speed also leads to wastage of fuel so please avoid that thank you please visit www.examfuel.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.